So here we are looking at the chip that I built for the Arduino MATLAB data logger. Uh, this is just a basic Arduino Uno. You can get these anywhere, I'm sure you've all seen that. Looking at the shield, if we start up here in the top left hand corner we have a terminal and this is where we hook up the top leg of our voltage divider. Uh, this is where we hook up the resistance sensor of whatever kind you, you need. Um, so if I come down here, this is the bottom leg of our voltage divider. This is a 10 turn 100k pot. Now this is used to calibrate the voltage divider so uh, it has about the same resistance the bottom leg as the top leg when starting. Um, if we come over here this is a switch. The switch when it's in the on position is recording data and when it's in the off position it tells MATLAB to stop recording and it saves the data to a variable that then can be saved for post-processing. Here we have two LEDs. The green LED is on when it's recording and the red LED is on when it has stopped recording and it and data is ready to be saved. And then the only other component here is a pull-down resistor for the switch to make sure we have fast reaction times. Um, these over here don't do anything and on the bottom we just have some basic pins. So now let's go ahead and let's get this guy hooked up. So we're going to take our shield and set it on our basic Arduino Uno. The nice thing about the new MATLAB 2014 Arduino Uno package is you don't have to upload any script onto the microcontroller here on the Arduino. Uh, MATLAB does that automatically every time you hook it up. So now we're going to insert our USB cord and watch it power up. Alright, so what I have hooked up here for demonstration purposes is a potentiometer and this will just act as our sensor. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the MATLAB version. So here I have the basic MATLAB 2014A pulled up, but we're going to need some code for this. And before we start anything, you need to download the MATLAB Arduino service package. That can be found at mathworks.com backslash hardware slash support slash arduino matlab.html. This, this website uh, can also be found by googling it or it can be found on my website and I'll put a link to that in the description. So once you have this package downloaded, uh, go ahead and open up MATLAB, start a new script, grab the code that I have and any um, it can be found at the bottom of my site under code. Go ahead and copy it all. Leave this red out at the bottom. Control C, Control V. Go ahead and save it. Uh, I'm just going to save it on the desktop as untitled. That will be fine. So now you have to you have to tell MATLAB which communications port on your computer it's going to look up and on a Windows machine. So you will do that here first. All right. So here we need to tell MATLAB what communications port we want to set up. I've got it set on COM5, but let's see which one my Arduino set into. So on a PC machine, go to the Start menu, go to Control Panel. Go to Device Manager. I bring in the Device Manager. Come up to COM ports. And then here, Arduino Uno, COM5. That'll work. So I type in COM5 here, which is already typed in. I hit Run. Change folder. And it starts collecting data. Um, the screen looks like this and the main MATLAB interface looks like this. There's nothing saved. There's an I1 for the switch. So now if I start to play with my potentiometer, the screen will self-adjust to the data. And this can be changed to whatever range you need. So right now I have with the with my base pot and I have a range from about 400 ohms to about 
to 60,000 ohms. So, 60 kilo ohms. So that whole range. And that's all it is. So it's to stop the data logging, if you pull up the shield here, which you can see in the very bottom left corner of the screen, and you flip the switch, the red light, red LED will come on, and that means that all your data has been saved. And all my data is present over here. And sensor resistance, I can click on. I can right click, save as. I can save it as a .mat file, and I can use that later for post-processing or whatever is needed. So.